This is question number 11. We're told each day a company posts some small letters and some large letters. The company posts all the letters by first class post. The tables show information about the cost of sending a small letter by first class post and the cost of sending a large letter by first class post. So here's our small letter, here's our large letter. One day the company wants to post 200 letters. The ratio of the number of small letters to the number of large letters is 3 to 2. 70% of the large letters weigh between 0 and 100 grams. The rest of the large letters weigh between 101 and 250 grams. We're asked to work out the total cost of posting the 200 letters by first class post. The question carries five marks. So lots of work to do. Let's start off now with the ratio. We can see that we have a ratio of three to two. That means that there are five parts. I'm going to take my 200 letters and I'm going to divide it by five. 200 divided by five gives me 40. So one part is equal to 40 letters. If we now start off with the small letters, so just jotting this down, we've got small letters, we have three parts. So it'll be three times by the 40, which is equal to 120 letters. I'm now going to look at the cost of sending these. We can see that these are 60 p each. We just need to be careful as we've got different units. We've got pence and we've got pounds. I'm going to write this as pounds and I'm going to say that this will be 120 multiplied by 0 0.6. That's going to give me now 72 pounds. So the cost of sending all of the small letters is 72 pounds. If we now look at the large letters, so just jotting this down, we have the large letters. We have two parts. We can see our two parts. Two times by 40 is going to give us now 80. Okay, 70% now of the letters, the large letters, weigh between 0 and 100 grams. So if we consider now 70% of 80, we can calculate this, 70% of 80 is going to be equal to. So if we think 10% is going to be 8, so this is going to be 7 times that amount, which is 56. I'm going to do 56 multiplied by one pounds, and that's going to give me now 56 pounds. So that's 56 pounds. We can see that there are 24 remaining, so we're going to have 24 multiplied by, and this time we need the 101 to 250, that's going to be 1.5. 24 times one and a half is going to give me 36. So all I'm going to do is add these up. So we can say 72, plus 56 plus 36 is going to be equal to the total. So all we need to do is work that out and then that will be our final answer. So if we do 72 and 56, 72 and 56 is going to give me 128. If I then add 36, that's going to give me 164. So that's my final answer, £164 to send all of these letters by first class. If you want to show a bit more work in here, you could do, you could write 10% of 80 is going to be now 8 and times it by 7, entirely up to, if you're confident to do it, all we've done is split these up, we've looked at the ratio and then added them at the end.